love I showed that. this to a friend of mine who also happens to have a corgi. <laughs> the response is still pending. We did the uh, uh, eight gems. We done the Starfall uh, storyline and stuff like that. So basically, all that's left is the Elite Four, uh, Professor Sada, and then of course to complete the Pokedex and everything that comes out afterwards. So I guess we'll do the Elite Four next, huh? Yeah, I'll lead you where to it is. I was gonna say, would it show up on my map though? I mean, it would, but I find it a lot more fun to just take the journey. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Okay. Uh, your your thing went, was invisible for a second. I would not have known. I was busy trying to checkpoint. Yeah, it's it's That's like. Destination. Your, uh, uh Miraidon was invisible for a second. Nothing like falling down a mountain in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Is it morning or evening? I don't know. Uh, okay, so... Behind us is north, so... Yeah, that's west. It's, it's evening. Okay, I was wondering. Over here is where I found that Carbos. Careful. Well, I'm trying to get to it. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> you could have also sent a Pokemon up there to get it. I keep forgetting that I could have done that. Uh, okay, I guess I'm battling a deerling. Yeah. Um, why? Um, What's going on? My character ain't moving. I can't even move the camera. What's going on? Uh. Yeah, you're completely gone. Have we got a connection error going on? No. I haven't moved from the black belt, and I can't move for some reason. That's concerning. Like, I am pressing every button and nothing's happening. Hold on, what happens if I disband the group? Yeah. Hopefully that might undo it, maybe? Um... No! I just disbanded. It's still happening. May have to close the game. That was an unusual glitch right there. That shouldn't be happening the next time you fight him. Yeah, let me just form the group again. <laughs> Does this look like it's made of Legos? What does? Oh, the car. The Ooh. Interesting. Hang on a sec. Well, if I can press the right screen, maybe. Go. Yo, taxi! <laughs> it, it did. Yo, taxi! <laughs> <laughs> I guess while we're here, I could show off some of these. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self defense. You get me? I ain't turning back. <laughs> what the frick was you that? You get me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris. Oh, hello. Let's see. I'm part of the Team Star. Okay. Hi! Garp! <laughs> you wish this Garp. was in it now? Magic Garp! 
This was a while back, actually. I hear a bid for 15,000. Do I hear more? We're currently at 15,000 P. Oh, shit. And we have 30,000. We're at 30,000 P. Do I hear more? Hi, Blue. <laughs> 35,000. I hear a bid for 35,000. Do I hear more? We are currently at 35,000 P. Blue's Blue optioning too. <laughs> What sold! Do do? Sold for 35000 to the little gentleman over here! Oh, wow. I did pretty good then. Blue's angry. Blue's angry. They lost the auction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Hands down, the most editing I've done to date. Before we actually take on the league, uh, you know how I mentioned there was a thing over at Madali? that you would be interested in? Yeah. Okay, if we head over to there and talk to the person at the Pokemon Center. At Madali, you said? Yeah. Where is Madali at? It's one of the build... It's one of the towns next to the crater. It is on the top left. Ah. I don't think I caught a Persia, actually, now that I think about it. You mean a Persian? Okay. Persia's an entire place. I guess I keep thinking Persia instead of Persian. Persian exclusive. <laughs> Persian, the classy cat Pokemon, and the evolved form of Meowth. Although its fur has many admirers, it is tough to raise as a pet due to its fickle meanness. Fun fact, Persian is one of a couple of Pokemon in this game that got a complete remodel. Really? Doesn't look any different than what it normally does, but maybe that's just Okay, me. hang on. Let me let me just try to find an image of Persian. Original for example. Let's see. Persian 3D model Pokemon. Actually, now I see it. Like, it's weird. It wasn't until you mentioned it, but I actually do see it. Charizard got similar treatment. This is how it looked in Sword and Shield. And here's how it looks in Scarlet and Violet. Oh, yeah. It is different. Like, its biggest part is the eyes. Like, if that's the 3D model for Sword and Shield, and then this is uh, Scarlet and Violet, yeah, the eyes are a big difference. It's not just the eyes, it's the entire face. Yeah, it is, actually, now that I mentioned it. Huh. Mewtwo also got this treatment. I ain't gonna lie, I do like uh, Scarlet and Violet's model versus Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield looks a little flat. Sword and Shields, they've been using them ever since X and Y. They were made to be future-proof. And we'll see how long that lasts. It actually was still- Take it. That's oh. thanks to Sturdy. It keeps it- clinging on with one HP. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of Pokemon have it. Yeah. Geodude, Magnemite, I think Rock and Rolla has it. Also, his face is scarily close to Hank Hill. Damn it, Chris, I can't unsee that now. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but his face is very similar. It's just minus a few details. If you were to replace the hair color and give him just a plain uh, white shirt, he literally looks like Hank Hill almost. And it's... I don't even like King of the Hill. I'm okay with it. I've seen a couple episodes of it. It's not too bad. I just find it boring. <laughs> I, I can understand that. I can. On behalf of the League, here is your lovely prize. 
Amulet Put that on your lead Pokemon. It increases the amount of prize money you have depending on which Pokemon you have sent out into battle. Right. So long as the Pokemon holding that item has participated, you will get the bonus. And it has to be my lead, right? Yeah, you could change around the items however you see fit. Yeah. I would probably say uh, put it on Midas for now because you're definitely going to need to have either him or Rosita out in front. I, I find that funny that Midas is going to be the one to hold the amulet coin. Oh look, it's trying to keep its balance! Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> I WAS ONE OF THESE AS A PLUSHIE! And one that doesn't cost an arm and a leg! <laughs> Seriously, there's like a steel plushie that's officially made by the Pokemon Company that costs $400! And that's without shipping tax! Yeek! So... An ice, ice stone. stone. Ah, okay, I do have one. This is the first time the Ice Stone has seen proper use on a new Pokemon. Any other time it's ever been used, it's on regional forms that are Ice type or retcons to previously established evolution methods. Okay. Currently, it is used to evolve Eevee into Glaceon, Crab Brawler into Crab Bombable, and the Alolan versions of the Alolan versions of Sandshrew and Vulpix into Sandslash and Ninetales, and the Galarian version of Darumaka into Darmanitan. Right. Fun fact: Toxtricity was the first Generation Eight Pokemon to be revealed through technicalities. There was a poster in one of the buildings in Sun and Moon that teased the Gigantamax form. Really. Huh? Yeah. Interesting. Let's meet up over at Las Pocos. Las Pocos? Yeah. Okay, well... Not Las Pocos. Las Pretos. The area our union circling began. Technically, yeah. Now, we ride. Yep. I'm curious as to how long he'll make this last. <laughs> Please think there. <laughs> Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answers. Wait, seriously? I didn't know I was being quizzed here. Tell me, which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficult? Madali because of Star Raptor's facade. That is arguably the one time where all of a sudden things took a turn, but that was only because he was under a status effect. So everyone else wasn't too awful bad, really. But then again, we did over level. I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? Larry. I about to say, it's like I know who because you kept mentioning him. Do you like Pokemon? Well, yeah, I do. Why else would I be playing this game? <laughs> because I asked you to. Fair, fair, fair. This is definitely an unusual one, what it is. Just just to be in this room right here, just before the league. This is just I a weird... I could have a picnic on top of the building? Mech's having a picnic while I'm fixing to have the fight of my life. Okay, for context, I'm on the top of the building you're inside of. I kind of figured as much. Now then, 
let's get this started. Let good old Rika be the first of the Elite Four to take you on. I say I'll go easy on you, but I be lying. Think fast. Just a heads up, the Elite Four have their types correlate to some of the Pokemon that you fought during helping out Arvin. In Rika's case, she is a ground type specialist. I kind of figured with the uh, Whooper evolution one. She started with Wish Cash, level 57, with the moves Muddy Water, Earth Power, Blizzard, and Future Sight, oblivious for its ability. I finally get to battle you. I've been looking forward to this. Dawn Fan. I think we'll keep Midas for a while. Dawn Fan, sturdy for its ability, level 57, with the moves Earthquake, Stone Edge, Iron Head, and Poison Jab. I forgot you could learn Poison Jab. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, it has. I mean, that makes for course. that makes for a good counter for grass types. Yeah. Ooh hoo hoo hoo! At least Midas was able to finish it. You did well, Midas. Yep. Let's see. I guess I might as well head back out with Rosita. Midas, well. <laughs> Let's finish this. Go on. Shake things up a bit. You only skipped it because you couldn't pronounce it. Yeah. It's literally just Quagsire, but replace Quag with Claude. Okay. Quagsire. It's like, I'm so used to saying Quacksire, and it's like, that is not Quacksire, I know that. It's something else, so it's like, I have no clue. He still looks like a donut. <laughs> More specifically, it's, uh... Let's see. It kind of reminds me of an eclair. Yeah, it yeah, does. You it know does. what I mean by Eclair, right? Yeah. The the ones that are filled with cream? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, kiddo. <laughs> she is so unimpressed. <laughs> Better stay on your toes, though. The second of the Elite Four is stronger than me. You're up next, Squirt. Come on out. Poppy uses steel types. So Arnold would be perfect in this case. It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye bye, mister. All my Pokemon are super tough. Your weak attacks won't work on them at all. They'll be they'll bounce right off. You'll see. Oh, what if you gave her an Elmer thought inflection? Oh, a what? An inflection is similar to Elmer thought. <laughs> so, like, I can't wait for you to meet my friends. So, here they come. <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to think that mindset. She leads with Copperaja, sheer force for its ability. Level 58 with the moves high horsepower, horsepower, play rough, heavy slam, and stealth rock. Ooh, this one's gonna hit hard. Go on, Raya. Sam, Sam, blah, blah. Gosh. This is going to be crazy, but as long as her next one isn't a uh, uh, ticket ton, I think it'd be okay for now. Oh, so you do know of her ace. That is her ace. I kind of figured because, I mean, she held, she holds still type. Um, Magna, Magna Zone still might give you issues. Flying is strong against electric. Oh, no, wait. It, it, the other way around. Anyways, wait. It has discharge, flash cannon, light screen, and tri attack. Question. Sturdy for its ability. Does it have earthquake? I mean, does it have levitate? No, I just said it has sturdy, meaning that it will last on one HP. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Whew. It's like, uh, Earthquake would still be effective at the very least. Alright, so let's see. Fairy Steel. Tinka Tine, level 59. Uh... Mold Breaker for its ability with the moves Play Rough, Gigaton Hammer, Stone Edge, and Brick Break. I'm trying to think. Fairy and Steel. Uh. I mean, you could sack Sizu and try to get Arnold back. Although, that would also waste your Terra move. I mean, you could still do it at any time, but... No, wait! Sizu's a Steel-type! That's you right! Lose the... You lost the weakness! <laughs> I, I completely forgot! That's this was fair. the one that we used... This is the one we caught that was a Steel-type! That in his level 75! Or 76 now, but you get the ideal. So, yeah. Okay, terrestrialize now! We've got the strategy! We got it! We got it! <laughs> this is perfect! Also, this music's a bop. It's a shame the game was bugged originally, so it kept looping on itself every five seconds. Oh, wow. A lot of people didn't really get the chance to listen to the proper way to hear the theme. Myself included. That sucks. <laughs> I just can't believe it. <laughs> the one time a fairy type did lose to a dragon. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's been several, especially if they have either the steel or poison type along with that. In our case, steel. <laughs> Hate to say it, but you lost, Poppy. Better call the next guy. Oh, that's right! I haven't had to do this in my a long time. It's your turn, Mr. Larry. Larry? Larry? Hello there. It's me, Larry. Um, confused? The game used confused on me, and it was super effective! It's the first time that a gym leader was also part of the Elite Four without a time skip. The only other time this has happened was with Koga in between the events of Red and Blue and Gold and Silver. Right. And unless you count Trial Captains, Ace Arola would also fit this criteria because she's the ghost type trial captain in Sun and Moon. Yeah. But was still an Elite Four member. It's it's complicated. Yeah. So you made it this far. I serve as a member of the Elite Four too, yes? Unfortunately for me. At my gym I use normal type Pokemon, since I feel like I have a lot in common with them. But well, the boss told me to use a different type here. It's not normal? Nope. Like I said, it's related to the Titans. Yeah! In this case, it's the flying type. <laughs> so if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. That's... that's his boss? She's the chairwoman, of course she is! I, I just figured it was... Never mind. <laughs> this is so weird! Uh... Anyway, time to get to work. This is so weird. Star Raptor, level 59, with the moves Facade, Brave Bird, Close Combat, and Thief. Intimidate for its ability. It is the only member on his team that's overlapped into his gym team. Yeah. Because the same one that almost flying. the same one that almost killed me and it's probably gonna do it again if it doesn't get paralyzed <laughs> oh. 
So much for Jumba the Unbeatable. Yeah, Jumba, uh, I do believe, uh, yeah. Now then, I suppose the final member of the Elite Four is next. It's your turn, Hassel. Now, where could he be? Uh, don't think he heard you, Larry. Come on in, Hassel. Larry, you... you may need to speak up just a little bit more. Hassel? <laughs> Hassel, you're up next! <laughs> Hello there, Black Cross. It delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Rika do the shouting again, hmm? <laughs> dot, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, She right. uses dragon types. So, oh. Shizu and Mindy would be go-to answers. Yeah. Now, a teacher's duty is to guide students and aid their growth. But I think I shall forget about my role as teacher for a moment. You weren't kidding about the Xehanort comparison. Yeah. <laughs> Last up is Bax Caliber, level 61. Thermal exchange for its ability with the moves Icicle Crash, Brick Break, and Glaive Rush. Interesting. Only a little more until you pass. Don't let up. Oh, come now, great dragon. Take a Terra Jewel as your crown. <laughs> and goodness that was it she was like confused it's like wait the the battle's over <laughs> you you really did it oh wow Huh. Oh, wonderful! I'm... I'm so proud of you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't cry, Grandpa Hassel. They're there. Wanna hug? Sorry about all this, Black Cross. The old man can get like this sometimes. So what if I do? I'm just just so overwhelmed. <laughs> Guess I've got to do the talking. Anyway, your results for the elite test of the champion assessment is a pass. No doubt about it. Yay! You're tougher than steel! Yep. You did so beautifully! <laughs> Congratulations. I say you're good to go, but there's actually just a wee bit more to the champion assessment. This'll be your final trial. See the door back there? Our fearless commander, the final opponent you'll face for your test, is awaiting beyond it. Her skills are so amazing, she was able to strong arm all of us into joining the Elite Four. You won't find a mightier champion. Though I she think... strong armed a child? <laughs> <laughs> Even a baby dragon could breathe fire! Wait. 
Breathe, <laughs> breathe fire. <laughs> well, guess you got over your sobs, huh? You could do this. We all know you can. Now go, young Blackcross. Your hands may be small, but let them seize a great victory. Stylish. <laughs> I see you! Or at least I see your Z's. So, are you ready for your final test? I want to see the true measure of your talent. She leads with Espathra. Level 61, opportunist for its ability with the moves Lamuna Crash, Dazzly Gleam, Quick Attack, and Reflect. All right. I hope you can defeat me and become a champion yourself. Listen to this music. Oh, this is nice. Yes, that was the correct decision in this situation. Please continue. Truly a devastating blow that deserves a standing ovation. Ugh. Pokemon critic, apparently. Go Goat, Grass type, level 61, Sap Zipper with the moves Horn Leech, Zen Headbutt, Play Rough, and Bulk Up. Wise choice. As soon as you said go goat, I was like, I know exactly what to use in this case. King Gambit, Dark Steel, Supreme Overlord for its ability, level 61, with the moves Iron Head, Zen Headbutt, Stone Edge, and Koto Cleave. <laughs> as soon as he says steel, I was like, Arnold's getting his workout in. Glamora, Glamora. rock poison type. Toxic degree for its ability with Terra Blast, Sludge Wave, Earth Power, and Dazzling Gleam. I know this seems like a weird choice, but why not, right? Earthquake? Yep. <laughs> Don't think you've won just yet! You know what? Why not? Let's dazzle the stage. I know the steel attribute won't really give the ground move a boost, but eh, why not? Be the light that guides all trainers, Glamora. And we did it. <laughs> you go beyond my imagination so easily. Such overwhelming power. Such amazing skill. It seems Paldea has gained another wonderful trainer to be proud of. Congratulations. It's my honor to call you Champion Blackcross. Congratulations is right. Now I can really say you're good to go. 
Yay, you did it, mister! Congratulations. <laughs> oh gosh, this guy. <laughs> oh, f crying again. You Pokemon trainers are the treasure of Paldea. And amid that treasure, champions are the jewels that shine the brightest. Along with some Z's, apparently. <laughs> <laughs>